What's going on guys, Austin Nurcho here. Today we're opening more Marvel Legends this week. And this time we have the new Deadpool set with the build a figure of Sasquatch. So of course we have the new Deadpool movie coming out. So some of these figures um, will maybe come from that or just Deadpool, I don't know. But it's supposed to be, you know, for the movie and stuff. Which will be coming out the same day this does. So this will be out earlier in the day. And then we're going to be seeing Deadpool that night. And so then afterwards we're going to be doing a review. So if you want to check out our, our review and know what we thought about the Deadpool movie. And you could let us know there if you saw it as well. And that, so you can check out for that later tonight. Um, but so we're doing this Deadpool wave. And of course, as I mentioned, it's got Bill a figure of Sasquatch. Who you can see like a part of Sasquatch's arm there. And we'll build him at the very end. But it is in the set we have a Deadpool so this is just a plain normal Deadpool um, then it comes with Cable which of course is going to be a star of the new Deadpool movie and um, one of Deadpool's like friends or whatever in the comic universe uh, then we have Domino which is also part of um, Deadpool's family of group and this set also comes with a Paladin which I don't know much of anything about him but we have Paladin the X-Force Deadpool so where he's all gray and black and X-23, which of course is Wolverine's daughter. And then it also comes with Deathlock here. Um, so this, you know, big set with seven different characters. All but the very first Deadpool have parts for Sasquatch. And Sasquatch is usually a big, huge character. They've made a Marvel Legend of him in the past um, under the Toy Biz thing. But now we're going to have a bill of figure one, which will be cool. So let's go ahead and get into these. We'll go through each figure. Then at the very end, we'll put Sasquatch together and check it out. So let's get into it. So first up here we have the classic Deadpool. So again, these are all the comic based or comic design based characters. They're not based off the movie, but they are coming out in time for the movie. So it's kind of confusing where most of the Marvel Legends, when they release a line in relations to a movie, they, you know, design them off some at least some of the characters off the movie but this time they haven't because at least um i mean it looks similar to deadpool but it's kind of hard but you can tell by the pictures on the box and everything that they are the comic versions um so we'll take a look at him here so he's he of course is in his classic red and black outfit here and we can take a look up here so you can see his face of course the black diamond shapes on the red mask with the eyes that you can see um so of course that's a fun part of the movie seeing the eyes like move in and out and stuff to react and everything then go down he does have a collar around his neck so a black like piece of leather strapping which he does have also around his hands so on both hands he has these bands and his feet too or his ankles he has these bands so i don't know exactly what they're for but he has them all over him then going down again, it's the red and black outfit, so I'm not going to go through all the details of it. But here we do have a strap going on, a gray strap. So they just added it to, you know, offset the collars and everything. But a gray strap going along here up to a shoulder pad and then just another brace around there. Which then if you flip over, goes over to holding his sword. So we do have swords we'll show here in a second that you can then put in there. And so it crosses them like he has to, you know, reach up and grab the sword and pull it out and everything really fast. Um, then that leads down into his belt where, of course, he has his dead pool logo here which is just a, like a little circle with his um, eyes and stuff in it um, within a belt with a bunch of different red pockets going all the way around to hold all sorts of ammo and everything uh, then going down into his legs again continuing on with his outfit then on his upper thigh he does have another strap with pockets and then going down into his feet again with those more of those straps around his ankles um so of course he does have a bunch of pockets because as we'll see with cable as well this creator rob layfield or Layfield, i don't know how you say his name um is like a person that loves pockets so if you can put a pocket somewhere he wants to put pockets so he's got pockets here pockets there you know he just likes to throw all sorts of pockets in anywhere he can and so um i did also notice with this figure he does not have the little like a um, little like hangy part because Deadpool you know it's like a mask so he has a little attachment like a um, part that hangs out on the back here but he does not have it so it's a smooth head so let's look at articulation so of course of the head he does have normal head movement so it goes side to side and um, a little bit up and down it's kind of stiff I think because of this brace or the necklace thing he has on strap around his neck so it can't move as easily but it can move side to side um, then of course we've got his shoulders which does have the butterfly joint or at least it looks like it. yeah it's just not moving there this one does it so it can move the arm back and forth have a much larger range of movement which I like when they have this this one there it goes so that one's kind of stiff um, then we have the shoulder joint which if I can't 
now the other th joints too loose it can move his arm up and down and then we have the bi upper bicep or whatever where it can twist all the way around oh he broke his arm it's all broken um then we have the double elbow joints so you can you know have two joints for the elbows at the top and bottom and then the wrist so you can have wrist movements of back and forth and then it can completely spin around as usual uh then going into we do have ab crunches so we can crunch the abs there it's hard to see with all this um attach or outfit on him then he does have the um, twist there in the middle then we have the hip movement so it can move up and down then the twist of the upper thigh there right under or right above the pocket thing here double knees so again top and bottom knee joints there that can bend a lot more look he can bend his leg completely back which Deadpool could probably do that too um, then we have a uh, whatever a shin bow <laughs> shin twist here that you can twist all the way around to maneuver and then the ankle which does have the back and forth flexibility and then it does have the twisting as well so you can move it side to side which always looks funny if you just twist the foot you know it's like he completely broke his foot off and so that's why of course all of most of these characters will have except for the females and so that's pretty much there is for Deadpool for accessories he does as I mentioned have two swords so you can obviously take the swords and stick them back in here if I can get them in there and so it also adds a cool look into him. So you know he's got the sword stain on. Then of course, as I mentioned, he can reach back, grab a hold of the swords, which these figures can, figures can do it really pretty good. And then just pull it out, which is, of course it's not going to be able to reach. But then pull out, and he's got the sword as well. So that's pretty cool. And he does not, as I mentioned, he does not come with a piece for Sasquatch. He's the only character that does not, um, which is kind of weird. You know, he's the main person, but he doesn't have peace. But from his box, it says strong, sassy, looks amazing in spandex. You could say he's the total package. So of course, a lot of comedy going in there because Deadpool is a bunch of comedy, breaking the fourth wall and all that. So that's really cool. So that's going to be it for Deadpool. Next up here we have Cable. So again, another character created by Rob Liefeld. So as you can see, he's big, giant, you know, muscular, and has tons of pockets. So we'll have to look at all that. So this is, of course, the big character that's going to be added into the Deadpool 2 movie. And I forget his real name. I, for some reason, I cannot remember it. But he's actually the futurist. He comes, so he's coming back from the future and to the like Deadpool movie stuff. So he's a futuristic character, but he's the son of um, Cyclops and Jean Grey. So that's kind of cool that we have this. So he's got a mixture of, you know, powers because he has the eye, which I don't know if it shoots lasers. Of course, I'll move it up close so you can see it. But he does have some little, like, stuff coming out. But I know he has a weird, sight, like, eye going on there. And then he has telekinetic powers and everything. Um, but let's go ahead and bring a look up at him. So, again, this is a comic version, so not the movie. So this doesn't look like Josh Brolin at all or anything. But we'll look at his face here. So, of course, he has this white hair. I don't know why any, like, I don't know a whole lot about Cable as into, like, why does he have white hair? Is that just how he was born? Is it some sort of uh, defect or something of him? or his mutant mutation I don't know exactly but um, he does have the white hair as you can see there um, then there you can see the eye so he has this like um, kind of like uh, blast like shooting out of his eye then he's got his wide eye in the other one so he's you know really messed up going on here in the head with different issues going on um, then this is weird that they added this on I assume it's supposed to be like a communicator or something I don't know what this is supposed to be I've never really seen cable have this thing on his head um, like I said I assume it's just be a communicator but they made it huge like this part back here is just sticking out way too far and it's all bent from being in the box and everything but it's weird that they had that giant piece of metal or technology onto him there they go down he does have this piece around his neck of course that can move around because I hate that they can't attach they don't attach stuff like this um, but it's just like a little neck protector and then it does have the x-men logo there on the front of it um, so that's kind of cool they added that in then going into his outfit so he's just got a normal um, blue shirt going on there of course then this uh, I forget what I don't know what you call this type of stuff but like armor that has all sorts of pockets so he's got big giant shoulder pads up here of course with a bunch of uh, ammo it looks like giant bullets going in there um, then got some more pockets of everything pockets going in there it goes all the way you know around to the back to attach to his belt down here um, but before we get to that, we'll look at his arm. So he has a cybernetic arm over here, so an all-metal arm. He's just wearing a glove there. So he's got a metal arm that can protect him from stuff. Then just a normal arm over here, um, again with another glove. Then going down, down into his belt, so he's got this big giant belt buckle that is just a circle. Um, then got a belt with more pockets going all the way around it. We do have a holster there. Um, all sorts of that thing on his pants so he's got like tannish color pant dark tan pants with some more pockets of course around his upper thighs 
going into his knees where he's got some knee pads going on into like military style boots down there so that's all there's cables he's just a bunch of pockets muscle and pockets is all he is um so for his uh let's see design there's not much into it he's got all the same design uh, stuff as Deadpool obviously can move his head a lot easier without the um, surrounding neck thing even though he does have one but all the other movements are the same it looks like yeah it doesn't look like anything's different just different in size so more muscularity and everything um, for accessories which is a big part of Cable we have a bunch of weapons so he has this big giant weapon so you can obviously stick it in his hand here and it's just supposed to be I assume like a rocket launcher type thing and it would shoot these um, bullets that are on the bandolier here um, so he's got that big giant thing and then it does have a hole here so you can take it I don't know how you're supposed to put it on if it's like this way or this way I don't know but you can take it and push it onto the back there and he does have some holes here but I don't know what they're for um, I none of the weapons have any holes or anything that go in there but he has a double hole um, and not all the characters have so I don't know what they're supposed to be for but he's got the big giant gun of course it like weighs him down once in the fall uh, then he does have what I assume to be, I was going to say a shotgun, but I don't know what kind of gun this is. It does have six rounds, it looks like, so it's kind of like a revolver gun of some sort um, with a really long barrel there. So it's like a modified giant revolver or something that you can obviously put into his hands somewhere. I don't know, he's got an open hand here, so I guess all the guns go in one hand maybe. Or I guess you probably put a gun and, you know, have it set across like this, maybe this giant gun or something. And then he does have what this, I guess, looks to be like a double barrel shotgun, maybe a sawed off or something, a gun there. And this one, I think, can fit into this pocket over here. It's hard to get in. I was trying to do it before filming but I can't really it's like the angle is really weird but I believe that goes into there and it looks like on the picture that's what is in that pocket there so we've got three guns to choose from again they're not the most detailed guns you know they're just all solid one color gun and they're of course big giant guns which go with cable and then for Sasquatch we do get the left foot so our first piece of Sasquatch here we got his left foot you know with like the monkey toe going on there and so from his box is a powerful mercenary cable uses telekinetic abilities and combat expertise to get the job done so again that's t touching on the telekinetic powers and everything of cable so that's going to be it for cable and next up here is Domino so of course she's I think yeah or I guess not the one I was going to say the one female from the set but I forgot about X-23 but one of the females from the set and so this is a girl that of course is going to be introduced in the new Deadpool movie. She's part of the X-Force team and especially in the comics and stuff as well but then we're going to see her in the movie and so she's kind of a weird interesting character. She has some weird powers which we'll talk about in a minute but let's go ahead and bring her up. So again not from the movie because she doesn't look anything like her character does in the movie but here's a look at her. So she's all, all white skin, pale skin. I don't know if that's part of her uh, mu mutation or if she's painted herself. I don't know but then she has the giant black dot there around her eye which is kind of weird. It reminds me of like a a dog or some, you know, that has the spot around the eye. But she's got a, a bob, I guess bob is what you call her, short black hair here. Of course, you can see, you know, it's not long hair or anything. Then that goes into her outfit, which is this all black leather outfit, very similar to like what a Black Widow wears. Um, reminds me a lot of the same character. Um, but then around here on her chest or shoulders, I guess, she does have um, some sort of, um, again, some like strapping material with some like pocket looking things probably hold some ammunition and guns and everything but none of them are holsters or anything so she can't hold any of the guns but it goes around to her back where she's you know got like an um it joins all together into an x fit, uh, shape there then going into down her arm she does have some armor around her um forearms here and then some sort of i guess the upper part of her gloves because she does have fingerless gloves as you can see so on both arms she does have the armor there then, so her outfit is the same going down until you get to her belt, which she's got a double belt on. So her actual, like, uh, figure here has a belt on around its waist. And then she does have this loose one, which, again, I don't know why they don't just attach them on. I'm trying to, like, get it to stick onto the other belt, but I can't get it to. But so we have a belt um, a buckle there and then, of course, a bunch of pockets going all the way around it there and then going down more black leather until you get to her feet where she does have some armor on here so she has these knee pads on um, that look like some heavy metal armor and then shin guards there going into her shoes and of course the shin guards are all strapped up around the back of her leg and you can see the buckles and everything going around through there so Domino's very 
uh, basic and plain character. Like, she doesn't have a whole lot of detail going into her. But let's go and look at her movement. So, for her head, because she is a female, so she, so she will have different movements. So, for her head, she's got a, um, of course, up and down inside the side. And her head's kind of loose, which is um, kind of worrying. Um, then, for shoulders, so she does have the um, shoulder movement up and down, which is kind of limited. Um, this arm can move a lot more, but this one has a weird, like, mess up attachment thing here. So, you can only move her arm that far. Um, but this one can move a lot more here. Um, so her paint job looks pretty decent. X23s is not good. I thought it was her, but it's X23. So she's got the shoulder movement. Then she's got the single elbow joint there, which can only move in limited range um, because of just the way the elbows are designed like there. It can only go back that far and that far forward. Then, of course, she's got her wrist, so she can you know spin the wrist around and then move. Um, it's kind of hard because she's got real thin joints but she can you know move back and forth there to help hold in position then just under her chest she does have you know some movement so again she can twist do like the ab crunch but she can also twist around and everything um she does not have the waist joint so she can't twist there um then she has of course her hip joints so she can move back and forth and everything then the upper thigh twisting joint there the double knee joint that all the characters have and then the foot so you can move back and forth and front to back which it's kind of stiff but it can move front to back there we go that way so that's all the movement she has because that's a you know the normal female joints they all move in different directions compared to the men because they're thinner body parts and everything so for accessories she has a couple guns so she's got these nice metallic purple guns here again ridiculous looking guns that are not real or anything never exists you can put these in her hands if you want and then she's got a little like handgun version here as well again with some more weird attachments onto it and everything so you can put those in her hands and then for sasquatch we do have i believe the right arm it looks yeah right arm of sasquatch here to go along with that and from our box this is domino creates her own luck with a subconscious ability to predict the success of any given action so that's why i was talking about her weird power so she has like the power of luck or something so She's always gets lucky, so every time she does something, it you know, turns out the best case scenario with luck and everything. So that's going to be it for Domino. And next up here is Paladin. So this is a character I've never heard of or seen before, so I don't know anything about him at all. But let's just go ahead and look at him. So up here, of course, we have his um, helmet. So he's got an all-purple suit on, which I like purple, so I really like this design. But all purple, but up here he does have like this black stripe of different material. It's like segmented, so it may be like a more padding something probably just to protect his head or something there then he's got some goggles so they have the golden lenses and then have a strap to go all the way around the back of his head there then going down into his body so he's got this armor plate or it looks like probably like a bulletproof vest going on here on his chest there and i like the segment segmentation they put into it of different parts and then it does have a different texture i don't know if you can see that with the line yeah you can kind of see it there the texture they put into it then it goes into his arm again it's all purple so he's got purple arms and legs but then on his arms he does have you know some wrist guard or some guards there that kind of match the same design as it does on his head but some forearm guards there with some like elbow protection there nothing on his hands then go down he does have you know a belt here with some of the same uh like uh, triangle designs he's got it up here and then there um, on the back, it doesn't really look any different. It's like a spine design there. Um, then we've got, so he's got some sort of like trunks on. As you can see, he's got, the, you know, the black trunk there, part of his crotch. Um, then on his leg here, he does have a holster. So he's got a holster here for a gun and a strap, you know, that go all the way around. And then going down, he does have, you can see in some of his purple here, he does have some like knee pads on and then some... Uh, like bunching up a material there just above the boot and then goes into his boots same design you know as the arms and head and he does have a um, little sheath going on here for a knife and then the shoes of course that are just all black um so he's you know a guy and everything so it's just the same movements as all the other characters does um but i really like the black and purple design i really like that um so for accessories first off he does have a knife here so he does have a knife you can obviously place in his hand or you can just stick it down into his boot and his, i like that his weapons are all gold and everything so six down there into his boot like that and then he does have two of the exact same guns so of course you put a gun in each of his hands but the thing is he only has one holster so i guess he's always got to be holding one gun at least at all times and then you can stick the gun in there which it looks kind of loose i wonder if you no. i say i wonder if you could stick both guns in there at the same time i mean you could like that but i'm pretty sure they don't belong like that but you never know 
Yeah, I don't know how gun holsters work. Maybe they make holsters like that. I don't know. Um, but that's all he comes with for accessories. Then he has a Sasquatch right leg. So there we've got another leg of Sasquatch there, which I think is cool. So from his box, it says Paladin is a mercenary marksman who always has his eye on the bottom line. So again, he just kind of fits in with the cable and Deadpool and stuff. They're just like mercenary guys. So that's going to be it for Paladin. And next up here we have X-Force Deadpool. So of course this is the X-Force version of Deadpool. You can tell it's X-Force because usually all the characters wear the gray and black design. So Wolverine was a part of X-Force and he wore an outfit similar to, the, to this. Uh, Domino, you know, matches in with the black and everything. Um, so that's how you can tell they're X-Force characters. And this is what we will see in the Deadpool movie because you can... You know, the trailers have shown that they're forming the X-Force group. And it's just supposed to be Deadpool's version of the X-Men, um, where it's a bunch of random people, you know, all coming all together to fight as a team, and they're called the X-Force. So here, this Deadpool is very similar to the last Deadpool in the sim same outfit design. It's just black and gray instead of black and red. Um, so here, you will start off with his face. So, of course, instead of the white eyes, he has the red eyes. So it's kind of um, switching that around. On the back of his head, he does have the part hanging off that I mentioned before that the other Deadpool did not have. So he's got the little tail of the help mask hanging off there. He does have the um, collar around his neck as well, again, so it you know, limits his head movement of up and down, but it's still there. Then going into his arms, you know, black into the gray with the um, bands around his arms, bands uh, there around his arms and ankles, again, just like the other Deadpool. This time he has, you know, a strap going onto his back here that holds the um, swords, but this time it's, you know, two separate ones instead of the cross. I like the cross better, but I guess just for this one, it maybe gives him better movement or something, I don't know. Um, but so he's got a different uh, sheet there for the swords going in there. Um, then go down into his belt, where this time you can see he does have the X-Men logo belt. Of course, it's supposed to be for the X-Force, where it's the red and black um, going in there. And he's got, again, more pockets all the way around his belt. Got to have all the pockets going into his legs, where he's got a, you know, a strap around his leg holding a lot more pockets and then of course has a um, holster there for a gun that you can stick in there and then going into his feet where he's got the you know straps around his ankles again and then does have some design there on his shoes these black markings there on the end of his toes and instead of just the normal pointed feet or whatever and so that's really all there is for Deadpool. He's got all the same movements, of course, as the very first Deadpool that we saw. But for accessories, of course, showing he does have the sheath, so he does have two swords. So these are definitely um, some nice katanas. I like these swords better than the first ones. So I like the blade and then the handle with the red and black going in there. So we can stick these um, into his sheaths on his back. So the swords are bent shaped, which is weird. They're, you know, like curved, but the sheaths are straight. So it's kind of hard to get them in there. There we go. So we got those in there. And then for some other weapons, he does have this giant gun again, a giant ridiculous looking gun that is not like any gun we've ever seen in real life. I have no clue what it's supposed to be or what it even shoots or anything because it does have this weird, you know, barrel down there that may shoot some sort of like uh, darts and stuff and then he has this gun of course they're blue I don't know what the whole point of the blue is but we have this gun as well and for some reason it's got the orange tip which is usually marked for a fake gun like a toy gun or something so I don't know if he's supposed to have a toy gun or if that's just what they made it and you can stick this down here in the sheath on the back of his leg if I can squeeze it into there it's kind of a tight squeeze but of course this is the only gun he comes with so it should be able to fit into it I don't know if I can get it in there or not there we go. So we got it back in there into the back of his leg. And so he's got that. And then for Sasquatch, we do get the head. So there's a look at Sasquatch. He's just a giant Bigfoot is what it is. Of course, we'll be putting it together here at the very end. So we got that. And from this box, it says, so you need someone to do the dirty work. Great news. That's his favorite kind of work. So again, it's playing in some more comedy details there on Deadpool. That's I think is funny. So that's it for the X-Force Deadpool. And next up here, we have X-23, again, another member of the X-Force. That's why she's in the color outfit that she's in. But, of course, this is Wolverine's daughter, I want to say, but it's like a clone of him, and so she's X-23 instead of, you know, Weapon X of Wolverine. And um, I think it, she w was the girl in the Logan movie, so if you saw that movie with the little girl, that's who she was supposed to be, but this is her more grown up and taking on the Wolverine status. So she's got the two claws there instead of the three that Wolverine has. The box was not kind to of this uh, uh, figure because it bent the um, uh, 
claws all up and everything, and so we'll have to find a way to reshape those. Um, but we'll look at her. So, of course, here's her face. So she's got long black hair that's, like, blowing in the wind. I like the, you know, way they did that with the detail blowing in the wind and everything. She's got some of the um, face, per like, hiding on. I want to say glasses, but they're not, like, sunglasses. They're just, like, a mask on, I guess, to hide her identity, you could say, with the black and red eyes there and the gray. She's got the gray part there on the nose, um, similar to Deadpool, you know, make the gray and black of X-Force here. Um, then she's got some red lipstick there on her lip going into her thing. So she's got an upper, like, um, shirt here, real short shirt. Um, she's got the red and, or the black and gray there, again, the X-Force. Then going into her arms where she's got her gloves where lead to her claws, of course, because, as I mentioned, she is like Wolverine and does have claws there, so she's got two claws, again, instead of the three. So same on that side. Then going into her waist here, so she has a, you know, bare midsection there, which does have some paint splotches there and some on her neck as well, I think, or somewhere... Oh, on her arm. There's some on her arm. She's got some messed up paint jobs on her that they didn't do very well on. Um, but then going into her chest, so she does have a belt on again with the X-Force logo there, or X-Men logo, whatever you want to call it. And so it's just a belt all the way around. Not really any pockets. There is, like, um, one there on that side, but that's about it. Um, then going into her legs, with again, with the red, uh, black and gray. He won't say red for some reason, which is just going down into her boots where she's got, you know, tall boots with all buckled up the front of them. Going up her shin there. Um, so, again, she is a female. She's, she's going to have the exact same movements as um, Domino did, except for her, no, her shoulder can't even move either. It's, like, very stiff. Or, there it goes. Um, but she can move her shoulder unlike Domino could because of the um, job on it. So again, she doesn't come with any weapons because she's like Wolverine. They don't need any weapons. They just have their claws and, you know, they can't be killed or anything really, um, at least really easily, so she can be shot and everything and not be damaged. So she doesn't need a gun or anything. So she doesn't come with any accessories, but she, her Sasquatch part is the main body of Sasquatch. So you've got his chest and everything there. And from her box, it says, A female Wolverine clone, X-23, slashes out uncontrollably when exposed to a deadly trigger scent. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean, um, but it's kind of weird. So that's going to be it for X-23. And our last character from the set is Deathlock. And so this is a, I guess, kind of cool looking character. I don't like his colors. It reminds me a lot of McDonald's of the red and gold colors. So I don't like that. All. But it's, you know, kind of stupid. But that's just what it reminds me of. It's like a, you know, Marvel... Uh, McDonald's mascot or something like that um, but so this is a kind of weird guy so it's a guy that had some um, I don't know the whole story but just what I do know so it was a guy and he had something that went wrong to him like he died or something but it was brought back and so he has all these metal arms and pieces now so if we take a look up at his face you can't see where he was a human that looks you know pretty bad now but if he died you know he rotted a little and everything but you can oh, kind of see you know he's got like the um muscle showing and stuff under his skin everything so he doesn't look too good and then he's got a weird messed up face there as well with a weird eye and you know like missing a nose and everything he just looks like you know he's pretty much dead already um but then he's got his uh, you know cyber neck or whatever he's like a cyborg here so he's got you know this part added onto his face here with the yellow eye there and then of course instead of an ear he has a like a weird circle but joint there where he's got the ear on this side going into his jaw so it's like you know part of his jaw there then going into his suit so we go into the red and yellow color here so he's got the red suit going on with the yellow you know stripes on the center he does have this yellow tube that goes around and attaches to a yellow thing here I don't know what's supposed to be probably something to help him breathe or keep him alive or something I don't know he does have an American flag there on his chest I don't know exactly why but he does have that on there um, then going into his metal arms and legs and stuff so he's got metal arms you know looks like the cybernetic arms or whatever um, all the different metal pieces there and he does have a leather covering there going into his hands we could see his fist there and he does have you know more robotic arms and everything same for this side but this time it's more covered but then you can see through there that he does have the robot arm as well under this um leather around his arm and everything there so same on both of those so then he has this thing on his back here probably again another thing that's helped you know, keeping him alive or something, giving him powers and everything, whatever Deathlock stuff is. Um, but he's got that pack pack on his back to help him with that. Um, then going down into his belt, so he's got a belt with a bunch more pockets. He's got a buckle there with a weird shape. Um, again, it's got this yellow thing attached that has the uh, 
tube to attach to his front of him. Then he does have a holster here on this side for a gun. Then going into his legs, again, more of the cybernetic arms and legs there. Um, some knee pads going on the front there. I don't know exactly. They're just like a leather, brown leather pad there on the front. Going into his shoes where he's got the red and gold there as well. Kind of reminds me of Iron Man. And they messed up on the paint job here. They didn't paint this one uh, silver as they did the other three um so they messed that up there as well um so that's really all there is for death like i again i don't know a whole lot about this character that tell you more about him or anything um but we'll read his box of course that will tell us something so for accessories he comes with guns so he has a uh, short like pistol here with a scope on it and everything which i would obviously assume goes into the um, holster here there we can stick it down in there and then he's got a giant gun of a rail gun here i think is what they're called so a giant gun you know has three things here that just kind of spin around and shoot all sorts of stuff and they have the bullets which i don't know what you're supposed to do with them um like it has a weird like bullet shape in here so that's why i stuck that in but it's kind of like bending the thing but you can stick it in there and then the other end just has a weird thing so i just stuck it in there because i have no clue what else to do with it i looked all over his body to see if you attach this to somewhere or do something with this little circle but I can't find anything, so I just kind of stuck it back in there to make it, you know, around. So you can uh, put this in his hand and have him use this as a giant gun if you want to. So again, he's kind of like a cable in some sorts with the giant guns and the ridiculous looking body and everything. Um, so that's it for him. Then he's got the right Sasquatch arm, so we now have all the Sasquatch pieces, which we will be building next. And from his boxes, reanimated into superpowered dominance, Deathlock is a cyborg hero bent on demolition. So there just kind of is, you know, he was reanimated and he is a cyborg. So that's pretty much it for Deathlock. So we now have all of Sasquatch, so let's go ahead and put him together. So here we got Sasquatch, so it's actually pretty easy to put together. Usually it's the Marvel Legends that I have most of the trouble with putting the characters together, the build figures, but he was actually pretty easy, so I like that a lot. So here we have Sasquatch. Again, he is a giant character. He's supposed to be like a Bigfoot pretty much, or a Wind uh, Wendigo, or um, Yeti, whatever you want to call it, of the different you know giant hairy monsters that we have, that believe, people believe exist out there. Um, so he's a part of Alpha Flight, which is the Canadian like grouping of people that kind of are in like the X-Men universe, and everything. Thing, and he's one of the characters from Alpha Flight. Um, so again, he's just a giant, you know, hairy guy, like a monkeyish looking guy. So he's got, um, you know, the monkey feet down here that I point out with the uh, monkey toes there. And then he's just all hairy, and he's got, you know, an open hand here, a fist here. He's got the same movements as all the other characters. So, you know, the arms, got all the arm movements, the head movements. Um, I like his hair, you know, that goes, you know, into the long hair. And then if you put it back, it just flows into his upper hair there on his chest or on the, his back into his normal hair all over. Then, of course, he has the extra hair here on his, like, crotch area, just the um, cover-up stuff, you know. Um, and so that's pretty much all there is that is to him. Like, he doesn't come with any weapons or anything. Um, we'll go ahead and bring up Deadpool here just to show you the size difference. He's not as big as I thought he would be, but he still is pretty big. I think that's pretty close in size there at the bottom. Um, so you can see he is a much larger character, as the build figure should be, with being so much bigger and cool. So that's going to be it for this Deadpool wave. And again, we have the movie. This is coming out the same day as the movie. So I hope you go out and see the Deadpool movie and that it's enjoyable as much as the first one was. And if you want to know our opinions, come back to the channel um, later that night or sometime that weekend and we will have the review up for the Deadpool movie with our opinions stuff. So I hope you check that out. But I thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this review and which character out of this set was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time.